Hey everyone, it's Sassy Assassin again. So, uh, this is just a quick video. I just watched Amberlynn Reed's recent, like, video that, like, just came up, like, 53 minutes ago on HookTube. Okay, not on her channel. And apparently she's having some issues, particularly, particularly with her abdomen, and now her belly button is bleeding. This is so, like, iron like, ironic, because I was at the ER yesterday, and somebody in there had the same thing, and they were big, and it ended up being a hernia. So, um, I think she has a hernia, and this, I, it's just, uh, like, the reason why I am, but that's not the only reason why I'm doing this video, um, it's just because, um, of how she was treated at the ER about her pain, the first ER that she went to, okay? Like, I don't dispute it because, you know, you saw the ER room and all that stuff, so it's, it's, uh, she actually went, I mean, I don't dispute it for, for one minute, um, and I don't, I, I'm not, I actually believe her, this instance about how she was treated, because this is very common to be, basically written off when you have like abdomen you know, like if you're a big okay and it, 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 when you have abdominal pain it actually doesn't matter if you're big or not but considering her size um like there I'm sorry I have a mask on by the way I'm about to take a shower this is a, a Tula mask um it's like a I like you know I just I love this mask it helps keep my skin clear but anyways um it's not surprise, you know, it, it surprises me that they didn't do any further testing on her considering her freaking size and like, I'm just, this is one of those instances where I complete, I believe her. I think she is going through something in this video. I don't know when this was taken, but like, like when, when she filmed this, but I believed it's some, I believe it's something serious and, um, I could be wrong, but it's just funny that she, you know, is, you know, t uh, explaining these symptoms because, um, you know, I saw the same thing at the ER yesterday from somebody and they were pretty big themselves and, um, it's just amazing. And well, she, also she could be faking this and this could be just a ploy for like attention. I don't know. And which maybe also could be, that's why the ER doctor kind of wrote her off because they could tell that she was faking it. And then, you know, for her to make this real, she would have to film herself being in the emergency room. And if she's faking it, the ER doctor is going to, is going to know pretty quick. But if this is real, then this is serious. Um, and I don't think she'll be able to have the surgery because of her size, which is, Ooh, it's gonna be bad. She's gonna be in a lot of pain. But this is, you know, this video in particular. I went to the emergency room. It just came up like 53 minutes ago. According, it's like noon right now. This should be a cautionary tale of what can happen when you allow yourself to reach that size. And but I totally do feel for her if if this if if, if she's telling the truth, which I have a sneaking a suspicion that she might be. I completely understand what it's like to like be in that position where like you're just written off by the doctor. I've gotten that done to me so many times because when, you know, when, when pain is in the conversation, it's like they don't want to touch it with a 10 foot pole because of the opioid, opioid crisis. And that's probably how they treated her. Like, you know, so completely sympathize with that I completely do and I hope honestly as much as I despise her and think she's a terrible person I don't wish shit like this on my work you know even like my worst enemy kind of thing it's because you know health issues like this kind of shit can just and and having to deal with you know jackass ER doctors it's just hard it's really is hard so yeah I just wanted to mention that because I found it so ironic that like she 
you know, post this video and 